Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another Magic Arena Explorer video. So today we're playing a little bit of Demir drawing cards. Uh, so this is uh, not dissimilar to a kind of Phoenix style deck, um, though in Demir and built slightly differently. Um, so the idea behind this deck is it's kind of built around Duelist of the Mind. So this is a new card from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. So star three for two mana with flying and vigilance, and its power is equal to the number of cards you've drawn this turn. And whenever you commit a crime, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. This ability triggers only once each turn. So kind of on each of your turns, kind of base power, it'll be a one three with flying and vigilance, which is just kind of okay. Um, but the idea behind the deck is that we have lots of ways of drawing additional cards by either committing crimes or with other cards like our cantrips or treasure crews that can grow this far beyond its kind of normal starting power and do a lot of damage to the opponent in the meantime. So yeah, that is, uh, that's kind of the new card that we're showcasing here. Then in terms, we also have Ledger Shredder, which obviously benefits um, from uh, casting lots of cheap spells and also draws additional cards to help trigger Duelist. Um, so again, in that kind of Phoenix style of casting lots of cheap spells, triggering this connive ability, growing the creature. And then obviously two copies of Shieldred the Apocalypse. Um, we gain life whenever we draw a card, um, so that's pretty pretty snazzy. Um, and yeah, so so those are kind of that's the creature package. So ten creatures, and then everything else is kind of cheap spells and abilities to draw additional cards. So we have our four copies of Consider and four copies of Opt. So each of those uh, lets us uh, filter the top of our library and then draw a card. We're not running Sleight of Hand in this deck because that uh, does not have draw a card on it. Um, then we have our classic uh, one mana black uh, interaction spells, four Thought Seize, four Fatal Push. Then a Spell Pierce as a counter spell, Duress as additional hand, Disruption and Cling to Dust as some incidental graveyard hate. Um, then, as well as our creatures, we've got three copies of Bitter Triumph as uh, more removal, and then three copies of Prof's Eidetic Memory. So this is a relatively new card, so a two-mana legendary enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. It says you have no maximum hand size, and at the beginning of combat on your turn, if you've drawn more than one card this turn, put X plus one plus one counters on target creature you control, where X is the number of cards you've drawn this turn plus one. So it just synergizes nicely with what we've got going on here. We can grow our creatures even more, just really punch through with lots of flying damage. Um, I'm just thinking, actually, Nathan Stoyer, um, who the art is based on, he looks far too friendly to be a to be a threatening magic magic card. I mean, he's very sweet. So um, so yes, I don't think. Uh, hopefully, the opponent will be wrong footed by by his uh, pleasant demeanor. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Prof's Eidetic Memory is a good card for this deck as well. Then we have our Shieldreds, and then four copies of Treasure Cruise, so very, very good uh, card draw spell, potentially drawing us three cards for one mana. Obviously that'll get uh, that'll pump Duelist of the Mind's power by three, um, and just make it a very, very potent flying threat. So yeah, lots of cheap spells, we always enjoy those kind of decks. Then in terms of our mana base, obviously blue-black jewel lands are plenty, so we've got a fair... We're running um, four Dark Slick Shores in this build, just because it has uh, so many um, cheap spells, so we do want to reliably be able to hit both of our colours early on. Um, we're not running any of the Surveil lands here, just because... Uh, you know, we need these lands to be untapped. We have a Hive of the Eye Tyrant as a creature land, an Ottawara and a Takanuma, and then just a few basic lands as well. Then in the sideboard, so we have our counter spell package with Spell Pierce, Disdainful Stroke, and Negate. So we can bring those in in various combinations as and when we need them. We have one Cut Down as additional cheap removal. Um, this sees a lot of play in standard, actually, less so in Explorer, but I still think is uh, pretty good, you know, taking down cards like Blood Tithe Harvest or Inti or things like that. Um, blot out, so uh, this is a recently quite popular sideboard spell, just dealing with uh, the uh, the largest, uh, most threatening creature or planeswalker the opponent has. Necromentia, so that's a good scalpel card for taking out uh, difficult things that the opponent is playing from their library. Extinction event, um, all of our creatures have an even uh, converted mana cost, or even mana value rather, so extinction event on odd can often take out a lot of an opponent's board without troubling us, so that's pretty good. And then four copies of Leyline of the Void. Obviously we want uh, one-sided graveyard hate in this deck because uh, Treasure Cruise relies on us having cards in our graveyard, so we are just running Leyline of the Void to hit the opponent's graveyard rather than our own. 
so yeah, that is the deck. Demir draw cards. This is one of the more interesting ones I think we played uh, in terms of uh, new builds. So I'm excited to see how this does. So thank you very much for watching. As ever, hit those like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Always appreciate the support. You know that. And uh, yeah, let's go on to the ladder. Yeah, this is a reasonable start. Looks like Phoenix to me. So let's open with Thought Seas. Yep. Um, hmm. What's good to take here? Um, I think we could just take Ledger Shredder. Oh, uh, the old Thoughtseize bug comes back once more. Well, let's take their Lightning Axe here so they don't have any good answers to my Shieldred. Okay, well, it's good news that they're stranded on land a little bit. Now, let's hunt for some removal for this Shredder. Mm, no. Apparently, no removal is available at this time. Don't need another treasure cruise. Okay, well, let's just slam Shieldred here. Don't know why I bother, to be honest. So they do have to get rid of one of their phoenixes to cast Treasure Cruise here. So that's something. Yeah, they're better off playing Sleight of Hand, to be honest, and fueling their graveyard, hoping to find a land. Three phoenixes, okay. Yep. Okay, well, we don't need to stick around for this. So let's put in Cut Down, Necromentia, Extinction Event, and Leyline of the Void. Actually, let's not put in Necromentia. It's not the quickest. God, that's very noisy in my head. Just gonna turn this down a bit. Um. From a bit of triumph. What else isn't so good here? Thoughtseize is just meh. And actually, Extinction Event hits our stuff just as much as it hits theirs. Maybe it's not the best removal here. Yeah, let's not, let's not run that. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it has a ley line of the void, so... Let's put back treasure crews here. Stick the ley line into play. Say go. Okay, uh, let's get a shredder online. No. Um, hmm. This is a tough choice, actually. Let's ditch our other fatal push, I think. Hope they don't have another shredder. Okie dokie. Well, they're running through their cards here, at least. Okay, treasure crews will be good soon. Oh, that's, that's a very nice interaction, that one. Ideally, I want to chill on Treasure Cruise until I can get maximum value out of it, but... I assume we have a crackling drake coming down here. It's a pretty expensive removal spell. Yeah, let's play Duelist of the Mind. And yeah, let's chill on Treasure Cruise for another turn. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, that's not very good. At least we can spell pierce their lightning axe. We get to draw. It's a little bit short of things to do. Mm, Prof's eidetic memory is quite good. Let's play that. Draw a card. Trigger Duelist of the Mind. Yep.
Okay, this is all going quite well. Finally seeing the deck function a little better here. Another treasure cruise, eh? <laughs> yeah, they don't have the cards here. Yeah, no, you've got to... Your lightning axe doesn't do anything for you there. Okay, that was pretty good. So, what should we do instead? Let's, let's have a spell pierce here. And a gate for their treasure cruises. What am I trimming? Mm. Is Bitter Triumph doing much good for us here? I suppose if they have Crackling Drakes, we need an answer. Um, let's trim a cruise on the draw. Cut down. Yeah, let's just get rid of Duress. Duress does hit things like Cruise, but... It's marginal that... And the thing is with Phoenix is if you hit one of their cards, they just draw another. Okay, all to play for in this final match. Let's hope for a ley line of the void. Yep. Having a tap plan turn one is not great, but... Okay, I don't really mind one of them going back to my hand, so please land. Thank you. Okay. Just have to pass here, I think. Uh, yeah, let's cut that down. I don't like its vibes. And I'll fatal push that. So they do only get one token out of it. But I am now out of removal. Oof, thank God for land. Um, okay, three cards in the bin. Uh, let's just get Duelist into play here, I think. Ooh, this is an interesting one, isn't it? I mean, we have some discard fodder with our Ley Line. Yep. Just 
just three cards in the graveyard here. Right. Uh, in which case, let's start this particular train rolling. Uh, I want a land. Well, that is not the best land, but it is a land. Okay, Duelist somehow survived. That's pretty sneak. That's pretty snazzy. I do fear Crackling Drake here, but... Okay, well, let's just play Leyline again and chill. I'm happy to wait with my treasure cruise. Feels like they must have exhausted most of their answers to Leyline now. They've used a Borrower, they've used an Ottawara. Okay. Do they have the card to bring back Phoenix? They do not. Okay. Six cards in graveyard. Okay then. That's treasure cruise, I think. Shieldred, Shieldred, Shieldred. Now, yeah, Crackling Drake's not bad, but. Okay, how should we do this? Well, let's start by fatal pushing their prankster. Draw. I mean, I'm just going to chill. If they don't, if they don't have an answer to Shieldred, they just die quite quickly. So. Yeah, I'm quite relaxed here, to be honest. Um, so I could trade my... Yeah, I didn't think they'd attack there. Sure thing. Okay, well, let's have another duelist in play. Down to two. Good game. Whew. 
Oof. That was a close one, but a good one. A one lander, but without a cantrip, is not a keepable hand. I don't love it, but... Okay, I'm guessing this is some form of mono-black discard from our opponent. We're coming, we're seeing this a lot on the ladder at the moment, it's interesting. Okay, let's play Duress. Uh, yeah, we'll pop Consider in our hands. So they can take it if they want to. Now we'll just chill. Shredder in play, get some immediate value off it. Don't need two fatal pushes, don't need island either. It's better. Liliana is always annoying. This is my home, and I don't appreciate it when people touch my things. <laughs> Off you go. Let's have Duelist of the Mind in play. Pass the turn. Yeah, mono black discard. It's uh, everywhere at the moment. People love it. Don't overthink. I do think game one, at least, against this kind of deck is going to be pretty rough. They have a lot of removal, and we don't have our counter spells. Okay, just another maze mine tome is fine. Resolves. Okay. Okay, they do have Fatal Push, of course they do. Um... Well, I think I'm going to have to make them burn Liliana then to kill our Shieldred. Okay, this is looking pretty rough now. They've just had all the answers. Drop it. If 
I can find something that acts as removal for Liliana, it might not be the end of the world. But well, that is a card. That is a heck of a card. Yeah, still got the cards to cruise again. Okay, okay. could all be worse. That was a pretty good chain of spells there. But I still don't have a good answer to Liliana. I need one of my bitter triumphs. Right, well, let's just ditch both our lands here. The kind of damage is done with our... treasure cruises, so... Interesting that they want to keep that. Stick another Proft Sidetic Memory into play. Ditch Fatal Push. Okay, you may have another turn. really matter here, but... Now they can kill my Shredder. Ah, I've always hated crowds. Okay, we did our best there in what was a relatively rough situation. Um... So, Spell Pierce, Negate, Blot Out, Necromentia. I think we can ditch Fatal Push here, that's pretty much useless. Although they may well bring in Shieldred, actually, so let's keep a couple of them available to us. Uh, treasure Cruise. Yeah, let's just trim those, because they're almost certainly going to have post-board even more Graveyard Hate. It's not a great hand. But if far. Uh... If we could survive, if our hand can survive to turn three. Okay, no immediate. Uh... Discard spell is good. Okay, Let's see if we can find a spell pierce. Nope. Thought Seas is actually pretty good here. Uh, let's have a look. Yep, take there, Liliana. And 
now we can potentially uh, necromancer something else, like uh, go blank. Don't do it, I'm going to shuffle your library. Good. Five cards in the bin. Okay. Those who get in my way tend to regret it. I'm tired of your secrets. So they get some value off their maze mine tome here, but I want everything else that's in my hand, so don't want Takanuma. <laughs> not discarding cards here. Fine. I know when I'm not wanted. Yeah, that looks like we're just chilling. And at least that might draw us towards some removal. Yeah, this is pretty rough beat, so I don't think we're very well equipped to deal with this strategy. They've just got so much for removal. Can draw something. Nope. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to spell pierce it, but I like it. Okay, well that is some removal at least, so gonna have to um, sadly kill this before I play Shredder. So, I mean we're just dead to hide from the Eye Tyrant anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but um, hmm, interesting. Yep, this is a keepable hand. If the opponent could avoid interacting in any meaningful way with what I'm doing, that would be really helpful. Hmm. I was hoping to keep my Prof's eidetic memory here, to be honest. Mildly pissed off now. Okay, vampires it is. Hmm. 
Ooh, missing a land drop. Okay, well, that's good news for us. I uh, wish I would stop drawing so much land, but... Some spells that allow me to draw cards would actually be ideal here. Okay, let's ditch some land. This card is very snazzy in multiples, isn't it? Um, I'll take Sor in here. It's really their only kind of out. Yep. Okay, so we got away with that one just because they were short of mana. But if Sorin had come down, that would have been a problem. Um, so on the draw, I think I quite like Blot Out, Spell Pierce and Negate. Necromentia less good on the draw, I think, just because by turn three, if they've got the combo, then they kind of, they've already killed us. Extinction event. I mean, it is a decent answer to Vein Ripper, I suppose. Let's put it in. Five cards to ditch. Uh, well, they're probably running Leyline of the Void, so let's hedge on Treasure Cruise. Go down a Prophet's Eidetic Memory as well. Cling to Dust. One more cut, one more cut. Um, yeah, two mana to do nothing against vampires is... On the rougher side of what I would like. Okay, this is an answer to their combo, at least. Not if they have duress, of course. Which they always do. Just play Underground River here. More land. I would like something that isn't land. I realise that's very selfish of me. Enough with the mysteries. I've come for answers. <laughs> we all have things we have. Okay. Let's play Ledger Shredder. Just for something to do. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal space? Okay, well, at least it's not a uh, Vein Ripper, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I'll keep Opt. Something that vaguely remembers re resembles removal would be good here. Go away! Well, oh, God. 
Yeah, now I'm just gonna have to chill. Don't overthink things. I need an answer to Liliana five minutes ago. Hey. A delay, nothing more. Still going to be pretty hard to survive this just because this mutable's attacking for five. Okay, at least it's not at. It's not attacking this turn, at least. Alright, well, let's have Shieldred on the battlefield. Now we just hope for the best. Them drawing Vein Ripper here is not actually terrible. They've drawn Fatal Push, haven't they? No? Okay. Now they have. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Well, at least I'm on the play this time, so let's put back in Treasure Cruise. Let's have Necromentia. Take out Extinction Event. Just a couple of ops. This is not a good hand. Neither is that, but it's better than the... Uh, just have to hope that... Consider can get me there. Just no interaction in that previous hand. It's just not good enough for when you're playing against this deck. No land isn't really good enough either, but... Okay, let's play Duelist of the Mind. Very much in our hope for the best territory here now. Four cards in the bin. No Sorens, thank you. 
So let's take out this, draw, discard Bitter Triumph. That's six cards in the bin. Please a land. Thank you. Four, five, six, seven. Cool. Okay. Pretty much managed to force our way back into this game. Right. Um, well, I think let's pull the trigger on Necromentia here. Soren Imperious Bloodlord. Okay, so they do have Vein Ripper. Uh, no way of casting it next turn, at least. Well, that's going to have to go. Unfortunately, cannot... ...also cast... Okay, that's good. So let's pop... Let's get rid of Shredder here. Name Vein Ripper. Now, they do get a 2-2 out of this. It's bitter Triumph, their reflection of Kiki Cheeky. Gonna be close. Okay, let's block this, take six. Okay, um, so I can treasure cruise for three mana, so let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. If I hit one of their creatures, so if I fatal push this, they can then attack. Oh god, this is going to be horrifically close. Um, 
Yep. So, hit them to one. Bluff a fatal push. I think if they have land, I'm dead. Okay, that's not land. So they can hit me for six here. I go to one. Then I need some way of doing them three damage. That won't do it. Um, so Ledger Shredder... Ugh. Screw you, Spell Pierce, and these life gain. Uh, is there anything I can do here? Shredder doesn't do it. Duelist, I can only hit them for... I can't cast any other spells. Why couldn't this be a one-mana spell? No, nope, they got me. Close. Very close. So yeah, am I impressed by this deck? Not particularly, um, I have to say. Uh, it's The creatures are too vulnerable. Um, oh, look, the sideboard's broken again. Um, yeah, it was okay. Duelist of the Mind is good if it's, like, left alone, but... Uh, I don't know, let me know what you think. Um, if you've had any success with something similar, any kind of other builds around this. Uh, yeah, I don't know, hard to tell. We did get quite unlucky a couple of times as well. Very close games. Um, you know, if we just drawn something other than Spell Pierce there, we might have gotten away with it. But, yep, yeah, no, that is, that is how it goes. So thank you very much for watching. Hit those like and subscribe buttons as ever, and I'll see you next time.